In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best heels for you, whether you have bunions, high arch feet, flat feet, wide feet, or stable ankles. I'm going to show you how to not have pain in high heels by picking the right heels for you. everyone welcome back to the most comfortable heels channel i want to wish you guys a happy new year i really hope your wishes your thoughts and your resolutions come true in 2022 if you are new here my name is vanessa and all i do on this channel is talk about how you can have the most comfortable heels experience because we all know how uncomfortable high heels can be i'm going to immediately start with having wider feet so having wide feet is something so common you can have wider feet just because of genetics so it runs down in your family and also if you gain weight your feet can become wider and also during pregnancy your feet can become wider and after pregnancy your feet can stay white if you have wider feet you want to make sure that your feet is not pinched in the heels and that happens a lot if you wear pointy pumps especially if they are not wide fit if you wear like the regular size pointy pumps they can be so painful because it pushes your feet in a point and let's be honest a pointy pump is not the shape of our feet in any type of way you really want to stay away from pointy pumps unless they are wide enough for your toes to lay comfortable next to that you could also go for heels that are more like rounded shape go for heels that are more square shape you can wear pretty much any type of heels just make sure that the straps are not too thin because with our wide feet if you wear the thin straps it makes our feet look even bigger especially when our feet starts to swell in the summer there's so many heels that you can wear but just make sure they are wide enough for you if they are not wide enough that can result in having bunions and speaking about bunions so bunions are these bony pointy bumps on the side of your toe that connects your big toe and the foot that is something that also a lot of people have it can be something that is like it runs in the family but you can also get bunions from wearing the wrong type of shoes if you got bunions you can still wear high heels so when it comes to bunions the best heels for you are round shaped shoes square shaped shoes and you also want to make sure that when you wear your heels they are made of high quality leather you need to have a material that's going to hug your bunion and not make it worse so stay away from any type of heels that have thin straps or tight straps or anything that looks like a gladiator heel, stay away from that. So you really wanna pay attention that your bunion got enough room and like a soft bedding around it to be comfortable when you are wearing high heels. And having bunions and having white feet kind of goes hand in hand because if you have bunions it can make your feet wider so actually the same rules applies so we spoke about wider feet now let's talk about narrow feet when you have narrow feet it can be just as big of a problem of finding comfortable shoes when you buy standard shoe sizes in the length your feet fit in the shoes but on the sides you have all this space so when you have narrow feet you could pick heels that have customizable straps these are the best because you can customize the strap into making the shoes fit better to your feet. So that would be the best tip that I can give you. If you cannot find heels that are specifically made for narrow feet, just look into heels that have the customizable straps. And also one of the type of heels you wanna stay away from if you have narrow feet are like ballerinas, the type of shoes that are gonna leave you with a lot of space in the sides, on the sides of your feet. So let's continue to the next type of heels that are best for you if you have hammer toes so basically a hammer toe is a deformity that causes your toe to bend instead of pointing forward the best type of heels are summer shoes so you want to look into heels where your toes can be free strappy sandals will be very comfortable for you and if you do wear close the shoes make sure that the material that is covering your toes are soft enough and comfortable enough for you if your heels are too wide for you or you feel like you're slipping forward you're continuously going to feel like you have to clinch your heels with your toes and with hammer toes it can be very stressful oh by the way when it comes to hammer toes you really want to stay away from shoes that make your feet feel like it's being like pinched or cramped in the shoes we don't want anything that's going to cramp your toes together so pointy heels are not the best heels to wear the next type of foot i want to talk about are high arch feet 
you can recognize high arch feet by their abnormally high arch in the foot. There's a lot of pressure in the balls of your feet when you wear heels and also in your heels. When you have high arch feet, you, you're able to wear a little bit of a higher heels. You can wear heels that are like eight centimeter high, nine centimeter high. You can wear those type of heels. To stay safe, just go for something between the seven and eight centimeter heel height. You could go for heels with a little bit of a platform or a high platform as well. Just make sure that it's something very walkable for you. And you could also go for block heels. Block heels are really, really good for you because you can feel like you have a better balance in them where you don't really want to wear like thin single soled heels because whenever you're going to walk from heel to toe, from heel to toe, you're going to feel that shock in the ball of your feet. That's already your problem zone. You want to make sure that you have extra support underneath the ball of your feet, underneath the arch of your feet and underneath the heel of your feet, just to make sure that your feet feels comfortable. All right. You could do that by wearing high heels that are arch supported that have insoles in them, or you could buy some insoles or even better make some custom made insoles. But the worst heels or shoes would be ballerinas. You know, the ballerinas that are so flat and they're painful for people who have high arch feet and even for people who have flat feet. Speaking about flat feet, I have flat feet. Can you imagine? I have wide and flat feet. When it comes to flat feet, sometimes it's like your feet doesn't want you to wear high heels because your feet has this fallen arch and doesn't, doesn't arch in this beautiful way that heels do. You cannot wear heels that are too high for you if you have flat feet. You can wear it, but you're gonna be in pain. You're gonna feel the pain in the arch of your feet. It's gonna be difficult. Also, another thing, wearing stilettos is something very difficult for people who have high arch feet and also people who have flat feet. I didn't say that before. So when you wear stilettos, you don't have this like stable feeling. And that's the same when you have flat feet. So if you have flat feet, you wanna stay away from high stilettos. High stilettos are the worst. So the best type of heels, if you have flat feet, are block heels and you don't wanna go too high. You wanna go for mid heels or low heels. Eight centimeter high, seven centimeter high. These are the heels that you want to wear. Or you could wear the low block heels. Anything that's going to be higher, it's going to be difficult for you to walk in. The next type of heels, the next type of, uh, this is not a foot type, but this is like a bonus. If you have unstable ankles, this one is very important to know. It makes it so hard to wear stilettos. Go for black heels. That's it. It's easy. I know, I know some, some, some women out here, they really want to wear stilettos. And I understand, but if you have shaky ankles, if you have unstable ankles, you got flat feet, you got white feet, maybe you even have bunions, just look into black heels. Black heels are your best friend. They give you height. Don't shy away from black heels. We want to protect our feet, right? So just make sure to wear high heels that fit right, that feel right, and just really listen to your feet. If it's pain, something is not going well, you gotta lower that heel height or you gotta go for something with a black heel, something with a thicker strap. If you cannot be confident in your heels, you shouldn't be wearing them, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so happy happy that you guys are here. If you want to know which brand specifically sells comfortable heels for your foot shape or type, you definitely have to click on the link in the description box, box because I wrote the whole blog article. You will find the list of brands that sell comfortable heels for your foot shape and type. So click on the link in the description box. By the way, follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where all the magic happens is the most comfortable heels. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please let me know in the comment section what type of feet you have. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'm going to see you guys the next time where I'm going to talk about how you can find the most comfortable heels. Bye.